Hello boys and girls. Today Catherine is going to make pastry and pastry we can use to put to make an apple tart from it, a rhubarb tart or maybe a jam tart. We can use it to make savoury things. We can put it under a quiche and um, we can put it under a fish pie maybe. We can put it under something like a yogurt cake, which I'm going to make for you later. Uh, it's a really nice recipe. Or maybe you'll be able to think of things you might use pastry for. Maybe sausage rolls. I might do those too. Uh, those kinds of things. So pastry is very handy to be able to make. All right. So the pastry we're going to make today is called short crust pastry. Okay, and I'm going to get my utensils, which I need a big bowl to make my pastry in. I need two plates. I'm going to put it in the fridge to keep it cold. A measuring cup. I might use the spatula and I need a knife. Okay, and um, my ingredients then are my margarine, my flour and my water in a jug okay so let's begin first we're going to measure two cups of flour okay make sure you flatten it out like that two cups of flour make sure it's full Start at the back, right, okay? So two cups of flour. Two cups of flour is 260 grams, okay? So that's the flour. Put that away for a while. Then I have the block of margarine, and that's 250 grams, but I'm only going to use half. So that's 125 grams of margarine, okay? or half the block. So I'm gonna pop it in. Go off your paper. You can use that for greasing a plate later. And now, when we are making pastry, it's all about rubbing the butter or the margarine into the flour. So I always use stark, I find it very good. Okay, so you're breaking it up. Keep the flour on your fingers and that way you won't really stick to the margarine. Lift it up nice and high with your fingers because you're getting the air into it, okay? And you keep on rubbing it in. And what do we say in school? Until it looks like breadcrumbs. It's the same as making brown scones. It's the same as making white scones. It's the same as making cheese scones. We do this for lots of things. We do it for crumble, when we're making an apple crumble. That's another thing we could do for a rhubarb crumble. Turn around your bowl like that. Make sure you get all around it everywhere. Okay, after a while you find it starts, if you, if you catch it, it starts to stick like that a little bit. That's okay. So now I would consider that nice and done, okay? So we're going to add water. Now, and the thing about the water is you must add it really slowly, really slowly. And we don't want it to be too wet. We don't want our fingers to stick to the pastry. So you start really slowly. Some people mix it with a knife for a while. You can do that if you like. But I like to use my fingers because I can feel exactly what's going on with my mixture, right? So I put it down like that and I'm in the centre and I keep going around gathering up all the flour and margarine mixture. And I hardly need any more water. So it's a very small bit of water but keep on going very slowly. Okay. Now 
don't be worried about it sticking to your fingers because you can go and wash your hands as soon as you're done. So do you see what I mean? It's not really sticking to my hands anymore. That's how you know that your pastry is not too wet. And if it was really sticky, you'd need to add more flour, okay? So that's it. That's my pastry ready. So it's a really good idea with pastry to actually put it in the fridge, one plate over the other, put it in the fridge for a few hours and it's much easier to roll out when it is cold. Okay, so we'll return to the pastry uh, and we'll make something nice out of it. Okay, we're going to make a yogurt cake first. So you can watch out now for that recipe because that will be coming soon.